okay, it's Easter time, and so with Easter we have to decorate eggs. So just a quick review. I know you remember doing this when you were a kid, but maybe you forgot. So um, you already taught you guys how to boil eggs. So quick reminder, fill your pot with one layer of eggs, and then fill it, uh, put water in it that covers it. And then you're going to put it on your stove and you're going to bring it to a boil. Once the water boils, you put the top on, shut off the heat, leave it on the burner for 15 minutes. So it has to sit in the water for 15 minutes, but you don't want it to continue boiling, remember? Because then they'll bang around and they'll crack the eggs. So again, one more time, line your eggs, fill it up put it on the, on the stove, turn the stove on, bring it to a boil. When it boils, shut off the heat, put the top on, set your timer for 15 minutes, and then when it's done, you can take it off and you can pour it out, cool off your eggs, and then they'll be ready to color. So, um, a couple ways of doing this. You can get one of those little Easter egg kits that have these little um, pellets in there, these color pellets, that's cool. Or if you don't want to go out to the store, you probably already have some um, regular old food dye, food coloring, food dye, see? So I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to grab a blue one. And for the blue one, what it's, or for the dye, you're going to need 20 drops and you're going to need some white vinegar and you're going to need a half a cup of boiling water. So... I boiled my water on the stove and I'm going to pour my measure out a half a cup. Okay, so I measured out a half a cup. I'm going to pour it in here. It has to be boiling water when you use the food dye. Then I'm going to add my 20 drops. Try not to get that on your hands because you'll have blue hands for sure. And then you need a teaspoon of vinegar. So here's my teaspoon and my teaspoon of vinegar. There we go. All right, once I have that in there, stir it around a little bit. And I suggest, as you see, I have it on a tray because this does stain. I also used a glass cup because then I could easily wash that or bleach it if it stains it. And because it's hot liquid, I don't want to use plastic. All right, so I'm going to put one of my cooled eggs in there. Just drop it in. I'm going to let that sit in there for at least five minutes. Um, to do the little packages, the package of the tablets, what I'm going to do is grab one of those out of there, and I'm going to put that in here as well. And I need a half a cup of just tap water. It says room temperature water, so lukewarm water. With that, I need a tablespoon. It's asking for a tablespoon of vinegar. It needs more vinegar the tablets. Cool. And so I'm going to sit that in there and I'm going to let that dissolve. You can stir it around and let that dissolve. A quicker way if you want, if you're really in a hurry, you could take your tablet, put that in first, and then put your tablespoon in. See, it kind of dissolves faster. Kind of like an Alka Seltzer. You guys even know what an Alka Seltzer is? Sizzling in there. And then once that dissolves, then you can put your water in. Whichever way, just depends if you're in a hurry. Oh, it's not quite dissolved yet. After that gets dissolved, you know, I'm just dropping all my eggs in. And then, of course, the longer you wait, the prettier they turn out. Catch back with you in a few minutes. 
So checking back five minutes later, you can see what color we're at. The good thing about those little um, kits is they come with these fancy little egg lifters. So after five minutes, you can see how pink that one is. But I'm going to make it even pinker. I'm going to leave it in there. Um, so definitely the, using the... Um, the food dye that you have at home, 20 drops of that is way more effective and has more brilliant colors than those little kits that you can buy with the tablets. Although maybe you can say, argue that these are neater. I don't know. It's kind of up to you what you're thinking. So leave them in as long as you'd like to get your color. And then what I did was I set up a tray, I'll slide this over. Or you could see where I just took another cookie sheet and I, this is my drying rack for, or cooling rack for my cookies when I make my cookies. And it'd be great just to put my egg on that to drip dry. So there's my pink one. That one came out pretty. And my yellow. Also very nice. And even though that tablet hasn't fully dissolved, they still came out really nice. And then the blue is definitely more vibrant, but awesome too. My blue ones. There we go. Aren't they pretty? All right. So I'm sure you can, I saw so many videos on, you know, using crayons, the wax, so you could draw stuff on so the paint won't stick to it. There's ways to speckle them. Use um, whipped cream and color the whipped cream to get a marble effect. There's oh, a bazillion different ways. I kind of like the good old fashioned way because I think these look pretty. So have a great Easter and have lots of fun decorating eggs. Bye.